Epic horror fans, I'm here with our newest member, JT is reborn, um, and we're gonna be talking about Wes Craven movies. Um, I was wondering, JT is reborn. What are some of your favorite Wes Craven movies? Okay, where where do I start? This guy is a legend. This guy's big, one of the biggest, best in the business, if not like the best. He's just he's phenomenal. Um, so uh, favorites, the original Elm Street. Um, mm -hmm. Then I'd have to go uh, Serpent in the Rainbow, Shocker, People Under the Stairs is pretty funny, and then the whole Scream franchise. Yeah. I did not, I, I gotta be honest, I did not like My Soul to Take. It made no sense. I hated that movie too, oh my god. It was awful. It, it, was, it was terrible. Yeah. It was just horrendous. It was, it was the worst thing he's ever made. Other yeah. than... I, I really like the movie They, too. That was an interesting film. That oh, people, I forgot about that. People don't talk about that movie that much, but it's really good. Yeah. So, uh, what's your all-time favorite Wes Craven movie? Uh, definitely New Nightmare. And uh, what's your favorite thing about New Nightmare? I like how it takes the series and then tries to bring it into reality, and it makes Freddy scarier again. I mean, he's scarier in this one than he's been in like any of the other ones, because he's got like... Well, it's not really Freddy, it's like, because uh, it's just basically like the evil entity spawned by the films. And he has like five claws, his head, he's got the sweater, he's got like the trench coat, he's got a better makeup job. He's just scary in that one. That's one, of my, that's one of my all-time favorite Elm Street movies, and I like the connection, um, you know, between the fairy tale, fairy tale world and uh, the, you know, nightmare world. Mm -hmm. The Hansel and Gretel one. Yeah, like, the Hansel and Gretel. Like that, Hansel and Gretel. That was perfect. Like they nailed it on that. Mm -hmm. This one's just my. That's it's my personal favorite. And then you got the screen movies. One and two are good. Three is a little bit below, and then four just. The four was just entertaining. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I watched them. I watched them film four. It was pretty sweet. Favorite all time um, Wes Craven movie has to be the original Nightmare on Elm Street. What a great film. Yeah, that, that one. Ooh, that's that's a pretty good one. Yeah, it, it's even amazing that the, the movie even got made because there's so many problems behind actually getting it um, released. The I know, it's, it's, it's tough because it's like they're just starting on, but New Line basically is famous because of Freddy. It's the house that Freddy built. Yeah, totally. I mean, Wes Craven, believe it or not, he started out as an English teacher and then he became a horror director. Yeah, I can tell because like most of his movies, they have like kind of like some English philosophies. Mm -hmm. Like in the original Elm Street, they're reading something. Uh, the architecture in some of the movies, you can tell, is a tribute to some of the stories. Yeah. They're... Uh, that's what I've noticed. Yeah, and he always has like a, some like cool quote from something historical. Yeah, you know, something or Shakespearean, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. But he's a pretty good guy. I really like, uh, you know, the original Last House on the Left, and I also like the remake. Um, I also like um, the people under the stairs. That was a great film. Um, I mean, the one guy from Silver Bullet, and he's pretty. He, he kind of overacts, but it, it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah, people under the stairs is a very fun movie. It's like almost mm -hmm. comical, yet it's horrific at the same time. Mm -hmm. It has but a. Like, that's a weird one, thing about. Uh, I just want to say that that's a weird thing about a lot of Wes Craven movies. There's always something really funny about all those movies. Like, there's always some kind of comedy in it. It's like dark comedy mixed in with like horror. Um. Then you get Shocker. Mm -hmm. Now Shocker has one of the best endings ever. But I mean, he made it because he felt like he didn't have enough money for Elm Street, and he was trying to like start a new franchise, but I it never really like, took off. Yeah. Um. Shocker has like the most entertaining ending. One of the best endings ever. And yeah. horror movies, or horror movies in general, because they just go through like the whole entire movie world. And you get everyone just like from like different movies, just looking at them. See, I like that concept. You don't get that concept enough of people going into films. Yeah, totally. The film world, except well, maybe like Last Action Hero, but other than that, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um. Uh, and what what do you think of Swamp Thing? 
Oh yeah, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing was a uh, pretty good. I haven't seen it in a very long time, yeah. but I remember liking it. I mean, it was pretty cool. It's really, it's really an action film. That movie. It's really action. Mm-hmm. It's like an action superhero kind of from the swamp. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Like overall, he's just he's he's pretty much the best horror director out there. Yeah. Like you, you have to look somewhere. You have to like look pretty far to find someone who's had as big of a success as him because I can't really think of like too many other people that are as good as him. Oh, I would put him up there with uh, John Carpenter, um, Alfred Hitchcock. He's definitely one of the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just made a great career. This is uh, JT is reborn. He's uh, the new member of Epic Horror Fans. Alarm. Uh, the members are uh, Sexy Dang Twenty One Awesome, which is me. Uh, JT is reborn right here. Uh, AJ Punk Fifteen and Spider Jack Angel. And uh, the, this month we're talking about uh, Wes Craven. That's a topic. So if anybody else wants to be a special guest on the show, just hit me up and uh, we'll talk more about it. And uh, thank you so much, JT, as we born, for being on the show. Thank you, for, thank you for having me. I mean, I'm more of a fan of Wes Craven than, like, the Rob Zombie. I mean, Rob Zombie, more music, but Wes Craven films, definitely. Cause he's, made, he's influenced, like, so much. What, what would you say is the scariest uh, Wes Craven film ever made? In your opinion? <laughs> Probably New Nightmare. New Nightmare? Yeah, that, that's pretty creepy. Like, I have to say that's one of my all-time I mean, Elm Street movies. It doesn't scare me now, but like back then, it gave me nightmares. It's definitely a creepy film. <laughs> well, what's the most? It's uh, very creepy. What's the most scary moment in the film for you? I don't know. I think where he's like trying to eat the kid, uh, okay. Dylan. That's a creepy one. I'm trying to think. Or like where he appears, like behind, he's playing skin the cat. Oh with yeah. A babysitter, and, and it's just like, oh, if I were a kid, I'd shit my pants. <laughs> yeah. It it's. Yeah. It's definitely one of the one of the creepiest films ever made, in my opinion, and one of the best. Wes Craven is such a great director, and thanks so much for being on the show, JT. All right, thank you Here's very much. One. So, um, uh, everybody uh, who's watching, please subscribe. This is Epic Horror Fans, and this is JT is Reborn and Sexy Angel Awesome. So check out Epic Horror Fans next time.